Hi, it's Debbie Williams and today I want to talk about a little simple strategy that can help you if you're a blusher. Now, I have a recording that has lots and lots of techniques and this particular technique was inspired by a client I saw today um, of helping you to distract yourself from the uh, blushing behaviour because what happens is when you blush it's an internal uh, way of running your mind, it's an internal state and we do this through what we say to ourselves, what we picture generates the feeling. So we go inside when we notice that we've got this feeling of going red or we, we say to ourselves oh I hope I don't go red um, and then once we feel that we do we're inside talking to ourselves of oh I'm, I'm bright red um, they've asked me a question I don't know what they said because I'm so busy talking to myself well whenever you get um, a thought of the future of hoping I'm not going to go red use that as an opportunity as a learning experience to instead of hypnotize yourself with a post hypnotic suggestion and leaving it open that oh I hope I don't go red in that meeting and now your brain has got that and so it's planning to do that use it as a learning op opportunity to think well what do I want instead and run this movie through of well I want to master an external focus rather than going internal so I want you to imagine sort of seeing yourself going into that meeting or what have you with um, like Dumbo ears so you've got Dumbo ears and the reason you've got Dumbo ears on is to remind you that you need to listen so you need to get out of yourself rather than going in and going oh god I'm going red is that I've got my ears on and so whenever you're going into a situation oh my ears are on and so I need to listen and I'm listening to what they're saying because I'm recording what they're saying because if there's an opportunity in the conversation I want to repeat back what they've said so if they ask me a question I can go oh so you're asking me da 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 now you've got a chance to hear it twice and possibly your brain will go ah so the answer is da 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 if it doesn't you can say Oh, I'm not quite clear on that. Could you could you elaborate on that? And then keep the Dumbo ears on so that when they say, well, what I'm asking is da 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 you're still listening and you go, oh, so what you're asking is da 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 Oh, yeah, so you mean da 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 And so it's training yourself to have this outward focus. And also, at times when you think about sort of, Oh, but I know when I meet somebody in the supermarket, you know, and they say hello, then they surprise me and I go bright red quickly. Well, the best way to counteract that is to practice in advance of running through the movie, of seeing yourself walking out of the supermarket with a smile that lets you know it's gone okay, and then backtrack, well, how did I get there? And so, yeah, I can see myself be the Steven Spielberg going in, my Dumbo ears, because, oh, they surprised me. Oh, hello. Right, what are they going to say? I'm listening, I'm recording. There's a gap in the conversation, so I can repeat back. Oh, so you've been to so and so. Oh, and you did da da. That's interesting. So you're teaching yourself to come from an internal focus to an external focus. Um, there's a link below that if you want to get my uh, stop blushing recording, that would help. And also, I would highly recommend getting the ultimate confidence one as well because once you know how you're creating your behavior and you understand and you have it in conscious awareness then really we want to put 90% of your focus onto what you want instead which is to be confident and self-assured um, and to leave the blushing in the past where it belongs. Great talking to you today. Bye now.